Module 3, Data Entry. Welcome to the Data Entry Training Module. In this video, you will learn how to enter, edit, and print relevant details of your samples of human, animal, food, plant, or environmental origins, such as identification numbers, dates, sampling location, and sample type. You will also enter microbiology results, including organisms, identification, and antimicrobial susceptibility test results. This training module has five subsections. Create a new data file. Open an existing data file. View or edit an existing data file. Use the data import module backlink. Or combine, export, or encrypt data files. To use the WhoNet data entry module, double click on the WhoNet icon from your desktop to open the software. If for some reason you can't see the WhoNet icon, you can always select the Windows button and start typing WhoNet until you see the icon. Or open a file explorer window and navigate to your C WhoNet folder directly to click on the WhoNet or backlink executable files directly. Once you've opened the software, choose your laboratory configuration from the list and click Open Laboratory. To create a data file, select the data entry link and then select the option to create a data file from the drop down menu. Enter a file name and then select the Save button at the bottom right. To open a data file, select the data entry link and then select the option to open a data file from the drop down menu. Navigate to your file and then select the Open button. WhoNet will open to an empty form where at the top you can choose the origin, human, animal, food, plant, and or environmental sampling origins. Select the option to view your database to open your database to view or edit samples. Select the edit isolate button at the top left to edit an isolate. Here you can edit an isolate of human origins to animal, food, plant, or environmental origins, or any of the patient, location, specimen, microbiology, or test result details. Here you can edit an isolate for animals, edit an isolate for food origins, edit an isolate for plants, or edit an isolate from environmental origins. When you're ready, select the print option to print the clinical report or isolate listing. To print your clinical report, select Print, and at the page setup, select OK. Select a printer, and then select Print to finish printing your clinical report. To modify your clinical report, select the option to modify your clinical report. Select Report Header to modify the default report header settings. Modify the report header starting with how many lines the header will span. You can modify lines 1 and 2 and then select OK when you have completed your changes. Save or select data fields to modify the default data field settings. Here you can modify the default list of data fields available for your laboratory. Most users will never need to update this list. Select Save or select Report Footer to modify the default report footer settings. Modify the settings parameters to include the footer or modify the default footer settings to match your laboratory. WhoNet also includes a data import software called Backlink for the capture and standardization of data from existing desktop applications, laboratory instruments, and laboratory information systems to avoid the need for double entry of data. Complete the Backlink training course if you will use Backlink to convert your Excel or standard text file into the WhoNet file format for analysis and report generation. Once you have defined your file to backlink, after you convert data into WhoNet and map your antibiotics, locations, organisms, and specimen dictionaries, WhoNet offers the user the ability to create or update your lab configuration from the data file or data files that you just converted. Most of the time avoiding the need for any manual changes to the laboratory configurations. To use the Combine Export Encrypt feature, select Combine Export Encrypt from the Data Entry drop-down menu. From this screen, the first thing you want to do is indicate the output format by selecting the drop-down menu 
and choosing the option that best meets your needs. The default format is Hunet. Indicate the file name. Select the data files you want to combine, export, or encrypt. Use the over arrow button to include your files. Select the checkbox to encrypt patient information. Select combine to combine, export, encrypt your data, or exit to exit the feature. These next few slides are focused on file management strategies. Open File Explorer and navigate to your C Hunet folder. Select Hunet to highlight the folder. You're going to right click on the Hunet folder. You're going to send to compressed. The compression could take up to a minute or two. Here we're going to name your archive. We recommend using a timestamp, for example, in the US. It would look something like 20221015. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching Module 3. Up next, Module 4, Data Analysis, Part 1, Quick Analysis.